Hello Wellspring family. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Carolyn and Andrew has asked me to do the recap of Mark's Mother's Day message. However, before I begin, I would like to introduce you to the newest member of the Stringer household. Her name is Eden and she was born on March 22nd and she has been the hugest blessing to our lives and we are so happy we are finally able to share her and show her to you. Uh, for those of you who also don't know, I am the mother of a very active two-year-old named Titus. And uh, I guess that's what this was really all about, was just raising children during this unprecedented time. And um, with the scheduling of raising a newborn, and a two-year-old and trying to figure things out. It was such an encouragement knowing that I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one struggling with a new schedule and I'm not the only one struggling with worrying. And Mark had uh, four mothers of, uh, with children of different ages and stages from very little all the way up to a mother who uh, was an empty nester and whose children were having children. So how uh, she was not able to see her grandchildren, how that was a struggle for her. And it was such a blessing, like I said, knowing that um, these ladies were going through the same things I was and hearing about how they were looking at things and dealing with things during this time. And Barb shared a very um, interesting word about uh, from Luke 12 about how uh, worrying, how how it doesn't add an hour to your life. So why, why basically why why bother worrying? And that was such an encouragement to me because I, I worry about going to the grocery store and picking up something and bringing it back to my children or my uh, son Titus going outside seeing his little friends and um, him not knowing that he has to practice uh, social distancing and him going over and playing and catching something uh, and then bringing it back to the house it's always a worry and especially a struggle because like I said he doesn't know about social distancing so he all he knows is he cannot go play with his friends and it's not fair and it's been a very big struggle just uh, having him play by himself or play with us and he doesn't want to he wants to play with his friends and but just hearing that I'm not the only one with these little struggles was a was a comfort to know um, so I just want to pray with you uh, right now and uh, hopefully we'll see you again next week so let's just bow our heads father thank you so much that we can bring all our worries to you and that you can give us peace I thank you that you have brought comfort to me and to other people's lives knowing that we're not the only ones going through this and that you have been able to give us these um, connections through uh, media platforms. Father, I pray for those who are watching that you um, give them blessings and you give them protection and peace, Father, as they go throughout their weeks. And with parents and especially mothers, uh, with smaller children or even older children at different ages and stages, that you just give them peace of mind as they go throughout their uh, week and the weeks to come and that knowing that they can bring any little worry to you. I thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I guess we'll see you next week. Thank you very much for joining us.